All right, guys. So now we're gonna go back and we're gonna work on this W124. Um, and last time I did the oil change on it, I did the whole car inspection and it needs the front wheel bearings adjusted. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. Uh, I have some extra grease just in case you might need it. First, I'm gonna loosen up all these uh, lug bolts and I'm gonna lift up the car. Also, since this is on the incline, I'm gonna put this chuck. So I tightened a few of them back up. I'm gonna show you what kind of plate it has. I'm gonna shake the wheel. I don't know if you guys were able to hear it, but that's the wheel bearing play. Otherwise it sounds good. I'm gonna take the wheel off. Now, there's this cap right here we have to take off. In the meantime, you can also inspect your other parts, your brakes. Brakes are good too. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab this, I'm gonna pop this cap off. One hour later. It comes off a lot easier on the 123s and the 126s. The 124s, it's a little longer process. There we go. Actually, they just did the wheel bearings, it seems like it, not too long ago. Fresh grease. What I'm gonna do is gonna loosen up this Allen bolt and we're gonna turn this nut a little bit. Okay, but first, what I'm, I'm going to show you how I do it. Uh, I adjust wheel bearings on these old school Benzes differently. Uh, I'm not using like a dial indicator because it takes up a lot of time. What I do is I loosen this uh, bolt and then I put the wheel back on without the center cap and then I feel the play and then I turn it. So oh, I'm going to loosen that guy up. that up and I'm gonna put the wheel back on now without the without the cap set the cap off I'm gonna install a couple of lug bolts And now I'm gonna feel the play and I'm gonna adjust it. I have this adjustable wrench. I'm gonna reach in there and turn it clockwise to tighten, but it's not gonna take much. It's gonna be a little bit of a movement, and that's about it. You feel the play. Now, carefully gonna grab it, turn it a little bit clockwise. It's a lot less play now. Mm. Now, turn it a little bit more. We check the play. Barely any play. Okay, turn it 
back and forth a little bit. So make sure you keep this area clean. Don't let any debris to get in there. it everything is adjusted maybe just a little bit just a little bit that's it just a tiny bit that's it and now guys we're gonna actually remove this wheel we're gonna tighten that five millimeter allen bolt and we're gonna you know, put more grease in there, make sure it's all clean, and then reinstall the cap at the end. This steady, and I'm gonna tighten that five millimeter. And then after you tighten that up, make sure you can't move it. Can't, that's good. That's it, now I'm gonna clean it a little bit here and repack it some more with grease and we're gonna be good. We're gonna reinstall the cap. A few moments later. All right, so finally, when this is all cleaned up, I'm ready to add grease. It's actually the same color grease. Pretty much the same, yeah and add it here and then around the wheel bearing the more the better never too much lubrication guys ready to install the cap i'm just gonna clean it really quick it's all good there's no holes in the cap it's good to be installed all right simple All right, guys, so everything's back together on this side. Uh, wheel bearing cap, all cleaned up, everything spins nice and good. Now, the final thing is I'm gonna put the wheel back on and I'm gonna make sure that it still has no play, you know, that nothing shifted while I was adjusting it. And the wheel is back on. I'm moving it and it's good. It's not moving, so we're good on here. The final thing is going to be just to install the cap. That's it. it. Would be nice to clean this wheel too. Three, two, one. Looks a lot better, doesn't it? Looks so good. Okay, so we finished this side and the wheel looks really clean. Uh, now we're gonna move on to this side. Same thing, pop the cap off and basically the same procedure like I showed you on that side. So. All right, so I just uh, adjusted this side wheel bearing the same way and I'm gonna add more grease here. Okay, that's it. Ready to put the wheel on.